how the Samsung Pass or the eye scanning can help you access um, all the website and uh, financial uh, website and applications uh, with a single sign-in so uh, basically um, Samsung Pass can use uh, biometrics such as uh, fingerprint or your eyes eye scanning to uh, uh, access uh, data uh, in the website so you can use the information to uh, gain access to the website so uh, when you go to a website you can read your biometrics uh, your eyes uh, data and if the data match up you can uh, automatically sign in to a website without having to put in a username and password uh, similar to uh, a banking website uh, where information is quite uh, important and critical uh, it can use biometrics information to automatically lock you into a bank so here is uh, Samsung Pass as you can see here there is a website sign in information so if we go into that you can see that it's safe once you uh, sign to the website you will need for the first time when you visit the website you need to put in the username and password then we offer you a chance to save the information uh, with Samsung Pass and that information is then coded, encrypted and stored in a um, Knox, Samsung Knox it is a, a, secure, uh, a secure place where it will store your password in information your sign-in password and uh, username is actually stored on your phone not on the Samsung Pass server so you don't have to worry about if the, there is a breach in security that your password and username is revealed to someone else so that information is stored on the phone and there are other things so you can see down here in the more settings you can uh, use the different kind of biometrics uh, access to, uh, to access a website uh, such as uh, using fingerprints or your eyes so if you tap on that you can see that you can use your face, your eyes or your fingerprints uh, you can also add something uh, pass to the home screen so let's see um, if you um, go back here tap on the home key this will take you back to your home screen and if we uh, swipe down and go into settings in settings we can tap on lock screen and security and from here we can tap on secure lock settings I'm um, sorry but it's down here if we tap on Samsung Pass and because this is a secure section of the phone we need to uh, verify our identity so I'm just going to use my eyes to get access to Samsung Pass once your identity, identity has been confirmed you can go in here and have a look at some of the information for example the Samsung account can be uh, added to your phone because you need you will need a Samsung account to use Samsung Pass. You can also delete uh, any previous data that you have. So by tapping on delete, it will delete the Samsung Pass uh, data, and everything will be reset back to the default. If once it is uh, reset, it you can then uh, uh, sign in and uh, and start all over again. So let's uh, have a look see how this works so I'm just going to launch a, a website from the browser so this um, website here is uh, an automotive website so I will try to log in so I assume that uh, you have uh, created an account already with a particular website or even a financial uh, institution so if you go to American Bank and if you sign in after that, once the password and username, username and password is saved, the next time you can log in using your biometrics information. So I'll tap in login here, and because this is my first time visiting the website, there is no information saved to the Samsung Pass, so I need to uh, put in the information for the first time used. Then I'll put in the password for this website. Once I put in the password, I tap on login. After uh, shortly after login, just wait for a while, and you see it says safe sign-in information. So you can say, "Yep, remember, 
and if I log out that website information is now safe to Samsung Pass so if I go in again and if I tap on web sign in information you can see here auto band is now added to the account information under the web sign in information okay let's go back to this uh, page here and I'm gonna log out so log out I'm going to go into account and log in and this time I will see so login okay so there it is it automatically knows my account so I don't have to do much I don't have to type anything in and it automatically comes up with a uh, biometrics uh, identifications and once it verified the information it automatically locked me in and that's pretty good uh, it will um, uh, store for all other websites as well such as Facebook uh, your banking uh, website uh, and all your, all your other shopping website Amazon eBay etc so once it is safe you can simply using a fingerprint your face recognition or your eyes to uh, access that uh, website so that's pretty cool with uh, Samsung Pass that you can store uh, all the password in a single place uh, making it like a master uh, password file so once you're in here you can uh, uh, control if you need to go back in here later to delete a certain website you can go into website information section and remove uh, that particular website so the next time you log in you will need to uh, put in the username and password again and that is it about Samsung Pass uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.